What's up, everybody? Matt Modai here with Jedi Modai Sports Network, and I have three NFL player props for you guys to lock in for NFL Week 7 betting slate. We're looking at Sunday NFL Week 7. I got three player props to lock in. For those of you that have been following me along this NFL season knows that I have been getting wrecked with these NFL picks and specifically the player prop picks as well. Definitely not trying to hide behind that, but what I am going to be doing is testing out a new strategy. I'm going to give it a full month to make sure that I do get a, a large enough sample size. And what we're going to be doing, we're going to be laddering NFL player props for juicy plus money odds. Basically, what I am trying to do here is capture the magic that I found with the Dong Report where I would give out three home run picks a day. All we needed was one of those three to cash and we were making money. The success on the Dong Report was incredible. I have yet to be able to find that same success with the NFL, but I think that this is a good way to start. Find three plays, juice them up to very, very plus money odds. We get one to cash, we're making money. Let's hope we can get all three. All we need is one. Since this is my first time doing this, I do not have any previous stats to give you. Aside from the regular player props that I've been giving out, which like I said, admittedly have not been doing well. So hopefully we can get things to turn around. I appreciate everybody who has been sticking with me and let's get into it. So our first play that we're gonna go ahead and lock in here is the Sunday night football game between the Dolphins and Eagles. We're taking DeAndre Swift to record 100 plus rushing yards. That is at plus 525 odds at DraftKings. So DeAndre Swift, 100 plus rushing yards. He had an explosion weeks in weeks two and three. He went insane, went over 100 yards in both of those games. It's been a uh, quieter couple weeks for Swift since then. Only once since week three has he even eclipsed 70 plus rushing yards. And he had exactly 70 in that game. So he hasn't quite had the level of success they did at the beginning of the year. But I think this is the week where DeAndre Swift gets right. They're playing against the Dolphins, who are electric on offense, but do not have a good defense. Specifically, don't have a good running defense as well. They rank 25th in the NFL, according to DVOA in run defense. And if we're just looking at raw stats, they allow 114 and a half rushing yards per game. That's 20th ranked in the NFL. They allow 4.1 yards per carry which is 18th ranked in the NFL. So their uh, raw stats aren't quite as bad as their advanced stats, but regardless, no matter how you slice it, they're not a good running defense. And the Eagles, while their passing offense has looked a little clunky, they still remain one of the best rushing teams in the NFL. According to DVOA, second best, best rushing offense in the NFL. They average 150 rushing yards per game, which is second most in the NFL. They average four and a half yards per attempt, which is eighth most in the NFL, but what you need to keep in mind with that yards per attempt number is that it's dragged down a little bit because they do so many QB sneaks, tush pushes, the uh, Philly special, whatever you want to call it. Um, they run those so many times that their yards per carry is dragged down a little bit, but regardless, eighth best in the NFL is still pretty good. This game on Sunday Night Football is projected to be a little bit of a windy game that definitely favors the running game for the Eagles. I still think that the Dolphins are going to have success through the air, which I mentioned in a Sunday Night Football specific video. But I do think that the Eagles are going to lean on the ground game. I think they should have success doing so. All they need to do is avoid getting down early. Hopefully they don't allow two easy touchdowns, two quick touchdowns to the Dolphins and have to throw the rest of the game. If that doesn't happen, DeAndre Swift should get a ton of work. He should have a ton of success doing so. We need him to get 100 plus rushing yards. Again, that's at plus, one 20, plus 425 odds, excuse me, at DraftKings as our first play. Next up, second play of the day, we're going with Puka Nakua. This is obviously in the Steelers Rams game to record 100 plus receiving yards. This is at plus 420 odds at Caesars. I'm going to sit here and tell you. Do not freak out about Puka Nakua. I know he had a bad game last week, but if you're a fantasy player, if you're looking to tail with me on this pick, I'm calling my shot that he's going to have a big game on Sunday. No way around it. Last week was bad for Puka. I'm, I'm definitely not saying anything contrary to that, but he's still essentially playing 100% of the snaps, which is good, and he's still getting a ton of targets as well. So it's not as though his role has been completely taken away with the return of Cooper Cup. In the past two games, <clears throat> he has 
18 total targets. He had 11 two weeks ago. He had seven last week. <clears throat> yes, it is a far cry from the 15 targets and 20 targets that he got in weeks one and two. But the reality is he was never going to keep that pace up, even with even if Cooper Cup was gone the entire year, he was never going to keep up 15 and 20 targets. But I do think with how much Cooper Cup has blown up in his return to the lineup, people are a little bit off of Puka Nakua, which I understand. But he's still getting a ton of work, as I mentioned. And just to reference the targets between the two, between Cup and Nakua. Cup had one more target two weeks ago, and he had two more targets last week. Now, he's had a lot more success with those targets, but the work is relatively even slightly in favor of cup but nothing dramatic this game specifically against the Steelers they do have a plus matchup Steelers give up 245 passing yards per game that's 25th ranked in the NFL and they give up a whopping 12.3 yards per completion that's third worst in the NFL the Rams also have banged up running backs Kyron Williams is out and he's been really good for them so my guess is that they're going to lean on Stafford to pass the ball a ton Think they should have success doing so both puka and cup can blow up we're just relying on koopa uh, excuse me puka in this one to get 100 plus receiving yards plus 420 odds at caesars and then last up our third and final pick of the evening in the cardinals versus seahawks game we're taking kenneth walker 100 plus rushing yards plus 270 odds also at caesars so we're rounding out our third and final play of the evening Kenneth Walker to get 100 plus rushing yards. He's got an extremely juicy matchup against the Cardinals, who have a very bad defense in general, including running defense. We'll get into them in a little bit. First, I do want to hit on Kenneth Walker for a little bit. So the, the concern here is that he hasn't yet hit 100 yards this season. And if you look at just his, his main line rushing prop, he's only gone over that number once this year. But there is a reason why his rushing prop is so high and it's because of this matchup. The Cardinals overall have one of the worst defenses in the NFL. They're bad against both the run and the pass. But in a game in which the Seahawks should be leading most of the game, they're seven and a half point favorites. And in a neutral script, the uh, Seahawks generally opt to run over pass if everything else equal. Sure, there are some games where they pass the ball a ton if they're going up against a good running defense or if they are losing. But if everything is equal, they would prefer to run the ball. So the guess here is that Kenneth Walker is going to get a lot of work in this game. He's a great running back. I expect him to have success doing so. The Cardinals, looking at DVOA, have the fourth worst rushing defense in the NFL. They allow 133 rushing yards per game, which is 24th ranked in the NFL. They allow four and a half yards per carry, which is 25th ranked. In the NFL. And as I mentioned, the Seahawks are seven and a half point favorites. So this is a game I'm expecting them to be leading. And then because of that, working the ground game because of the lead. So with our third and final pick, Kenneth Walker, 100 plus rushing yards. Remember, plus 270 odds at Caesars. And that is it. That rounds out our third and final pick of the evening. As I mentioned, all we need is one of these three to cash, and we are making money. We get all three to cash. We will be rich and we'll do a nice dent into my player prop losses so far this year. So let's root for that. If you are riding with me, comment and let me know. If you're fading, that's also fine. Comment and let me know. If you have another play that you like to ladder, you can comment and let me know that as well. Other than that, remember to like, subscribe. That helps me out a ton. Appreciate everybody for watching and have a good one.